Hey you guys, today I'm going to show you how to install your Meta Pixel on your Shopify store, probably within five minutes. I'm going to try and go faster. All right, so once you load up Shopify, go ahead and on the left side, go to your sales channels, type in Meta. The very first one should look like this, Facebook and Instagram, and it'll take you to this app. You're going to want to go ahead and click install, and you can see the developers actually Meta. I'm going to get an error because I've already installed it on this store before, but... Um, you probably won't get this. Now you're going to click install. Do you click install? I'm probably going to get a few pop-ups again. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of these pop-ups just so I can kind of demonstrate what you'll probably see. So you'll see this get started here, right? And then this is going to talk to you about the different products and how all this works. Doesn't really matter. The main goal is you're going to go ahead and click get started. I'm going to go ahead and click uh, create a shop because I already have my shop created. So you might not get this because it might not, uh, you might not have your shop set up yet. But if you, if it asks you to create it, you can click set up a new shop. Um, I typically recommend it for any e-com brand that we work with. So I'll go ahead and click create shop. And then it's going to say finalizing channel setup. So I'm not going to cut this part of the video at all because I want you to see how buggy this can be and the errors. So typically what will happen here and depending on when you watch this, right, it might be a little bit better, um, less buggy. But what you'll see here is it's going to say finalizing channel setup. And sometimes when this bar fully loads, it'll bug out and say, oh, didn't work. But I don't want to edit that out so you can see potentially what this looks like. All right. So we're just sitting here in silence together. All right, see, like I said, something went wrong. Uh, nothing really went wrong. I'm just going to hit refresh. Bada boom, bada bing. I'm going to hit exit. This may take several minutes. And the other part is when you log in, like I did there when I clicked connect, it's going to prompt you. And here it is for me now. So it already has some of my past info. So it's going to ask you to log into your Facebook account. You need to make sure that the Facebook account you log into has access to the business portfolio and Facebook and Instagram pages. So if you don't have that set up, you need to make sure that that's set up. So I'm going to blur out what's in this business portfolio because these are some of our clients. Um, what you want to do is go ahead and scroll down to the correct... Um, portfolio ID and then connect it. So in this case, this is the one we want. I'm going to hit connect. And now it's asking me to basically set up my meta pixel. It's asking me how much data, conservative, enhanced, maximum. I always select maximum because it'll give the most amount of data back to your store and your uh, ad platforms. This is just some more inf information too as well here on what um, uh, and what they're actually tracking. So go ahead and click save. And then we'll go down to data sharing. And then this is where you need to connect your data set, um, formerly known as Pixel. And I already had this created inside of Meta. If you don't have one, you'll click create new. And then it'll create one for you. And then you'll be able to use that. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click this one. And then accept the terms and conditions. Submit for review. All right, so my page reloaded here and you can see it kind of looks a little different. Um, if I go to my settings, it's gonna show all the things I connected. So my catalogs in here, all this good stuff. If I go back to the overview level, um, I'm still getting the shop thing. So I'm gonna click create shop again. I'm gonna click create shop again. <laughs> Something went wrong. All right, you can see it. It's very buggy, but it will go through. And on newer accounts, you typically don't have this problem. There we go. Now it's starting to come through. If I go to settings, yeah, now that's pulling through down here. Great. All right, so we're good to go now. Everything is being pulled in. My Facebook account, my Instagram account, and the shop is being synced up. Um, I am going to go back to the settings level and show you this. So if there's one bonus tip for this video, it is my recommendation to turn both of these on. So basically you're telling Meta that it is allowed to collect emails at checkout and collect emails with a discount. So you're allowing Meta to say, hey, I'm gonna give customers a five to 10% discount um, to encourage them to purchase and give their email. This is really beneficial. And if you are selling a product that is $50 or lower and you don't, use your meta shop for ads and to collect emails you're missing out it is the best way to generate sales outside of tiktok shop 
All right, let me know if this is helpful, if you have any questions. Also, one thing that I'm doing now is for people that have a website and want to get an audit of their current website, if I think it's worth running traffic to, I will pull up your website and give my feedback on it in a video and post it. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Peace.